Hello viewers, you are with me Haris Ghani from PTSB for the latest updates of the day. Malaysia hopes to reduce the intensity of greenhouse gas GHG emission across the economy by 45% based on the gross domestic product in 2030, says Prime Minister Datuk Sri Ismail Sabri Yaakob. He added that the reduction of intensity was made unconditionally and it is 10% higher than the earlier target. Ismail Sabri said the matter would be the stand of the country which would be tabled at the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC COP26 in Glasgow, Scotland from October 31st to November 12th. In the World Leaders Summit from November 1st to 2nd and the UNFCCC COP26, the meeting had given the mandate to the delegation headed by the Environment and Water Ministry CASA to deliver the national statement. Also to be highlighted in the national statement, Ismail Sabri said, it is the country's aspiration to achieve net zero GHG emission as early as 2050 in which the achievement is subject to findings of the long-term low emission development strategy LTLEDS which would be finalized by the end of 2022 by CASA. Also to be raised is the implementation of the Domestic Emissions Trading Scheme DETS by CASA with the cooperation of the Finance Ministry and Bursa Malaysia Berhad. The scheme involved the development of a sole platform for the transaction of carbon credit at domestic level. Apart from that, also to be highlighted is the effort to generate renewable energy, the target of acquiring 100% government vehicles with non-internal combustion engine ICE by 2030, maintaining at least 50% of the forest cover in the country, promoting zero waste and recycling as well as low carbon urban development. He also said the government would be strengthening climate change governance in the country, among them through the creation of National GHG Centre under CASA. Thank you for watching PTSB News. This is Harris Gunny signing out.